Well, guys, it finally happened. I think the stop start on all these new cars is about to go away. The EPA just announced they're taking a serious look into that. But a lot of those cars have the stop start has not been working. If you've ever driven a car start with start stop, I'm sure you have at this point. Almost everybody has. Some of those could be pretty jerky when you go to take off when you stop the stoplight. You go to take off, some delays going on, right? Some delays going on, some jerkiness. The higher horsepower cars really have the jerkiness. Um, if you're trying to pull out of somewhere onto the road, that second or two of jerkiness might get you. I think the EPA is really listening to this. Um, this is something I've been thinking about for a long, long, long time. And it says estimated 62% of vehicles from 20, the year 2023 have stop start now. 62%. What I do, you first get in a car with that, turn it off. You can't always turn it off easily. That's another problem, right? So there is that. Uh, EPA Administrator Lee Zeldin posted on Twitter saying everyone hates the technology. That is true. And promising that the EPA would, EPA would fix it. Are you also going to fix AdBlue? You know who likes AdBlue? Maybe somebody that sells AdBlue. A gas station that sells a lot of it. That's all. Everybody hates AdBlue on diesels. In fact, in fact, less than an hour ago, got a text from Phil, the old camera guy, saying his diesel Mercedes popped up all at once saying 14 starts till 14 or 15 starts until you can't operate anymore. And he just put that blue in it. So what does it take to get that done? It takes buying software from a different country right now to get that done. Does add blue actually work? That's debatable. Maybe we'll do a video on that coming up, right? Stop start proves feel economy about 10%. That's debatable. If you're in the city only and you have a lot of stop time, maybe, maybe, but stop starting, even though they have a bigger starter is hard on the starter. It's hard on stuff. Uh, a car was never been meant to be started and stopped that much. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, a $30 non-compliance uh, penalty for vehicle credits for federal government automakers have enjoyed today. 30 bucks per car. Okay. Okay. I had to print it out because a lot of stuff to look over. Don't want to misspeak, you know. Um, it says a recent study says that 27% of drivers deactivate this feature because it's actively annoying. And it is. Um, EPA is, hasn't detailed yet on the plans to change the technology, but told Automotive News in a statement, start stop technology is a feature of automobiles that frustrates millions of Americans. Who asked for start stop technology? Nobody I know of. It's got it, just put it on everything, on everything. And just to clarify, if you don't know what this technology is exactly, whenever you come to stop sign and you stop, as soon as your tires stop rolling, it shuts the engine off. And to a non-car person, like, oh yeah, that, that would be just great. You could sit there and just conserve fuel. Well, why it's tapping your battery. In a lot of cars, the AC doesn't work when you start stop. I live in Missouri. You ever been in Missouri during the summertime and the AC shuts off the stop sign? You got about 30 seconds for you're starting to die in that car. Like that's no joke. Heat stroke is no joke. That's a, a no-go for this. Same as the winter. Is the heater stop blowing? Depends on what car it is. Some cars may still run the AC. The ones I've been in do not, including Mercedes. All right. Um, like I said, AdBlue needs to go. I think they need to take a hard look at the type of catalytic converters they're using too. Are those knocking down pollution? That's debatable. That I think it's debatable at this point. Um, EGR valve stuff on diesel. That all needs to be looked at. Reburning the exhaust gas, exhaust gas recirculation. Uh, a lot of the newer diesels have two and three of those on there. 
somebody needs to look at all that stuff because somebody back in the day just said, yep, we're going to slap that on there. You're good to go. In the meantime, what it does, it hurts car owners. You don't necessarily know there's all that crap on your car when you buy it. And you're not going to know for a year or two until you get some miles on it. All that crap starts failing. A lot of stuff's a thousand dollars a piece. Um, you know, some of these catalytic converters are made into the manifold. Why are you making catalytic converters into the manifold? I get it. Maybe it, it, it works better. Maybe it reads better. But man, that's at some point in time, it's going to fail. You got to buy the whole manifold or thousands of dollars. And let's say you go on eBay and try to buy a manifold for your car with the Calic converter in it, some aftermarket Chinese crap, how those operate, it's the whole thing's not the Calic converter. It'd be a holder that long, a canister for the Calic converter. There'd be a little pellet in the front, a little pellet in the back, and the middle's empty. So what's gonna happen a short time later? It's gonna burn out, it's gonna come apart and blow out. You know, a lot of you guys are like, good. Well, it's not good if you live in the city and you're trying to pass emissions. That's for sure. And a lot of those, if you run an aftermarket converter, the car will stink really bad. It, from the second you put it on, it smells like rotten eggs really bad. And from that point on, they're just, it's like melting itself. It's just um, one of them deals, you gotta be so careful what you buy. But to buy the factory stuff, you're thousands of dollars for any of that stuff. And it's just like, you know what's enough's enough. As I said in the last video, I have to go off on it. All these cars, especially all these German cars working all the time, are made from recycled plastic, everything, engine parts, everything. If you want to make stuff from recycled plastic for your engine, that's fine. I think what you are to do when you, if you're a car manufacturer, you are to give the customer the option to have correct plastic on it that's going to hold up, that's not recycled, or recycled crap you slap together in it ovals out and breaks and crackles in 30 or 40,000 miles. Something tells me if you offered a better option, even for a thousand, let's say you pay a thousand dollars more per car, you go buy a new car and you're like, well, for an extra thousand, you can have non-recycled plastic on your engine components. Every person is going to say, okay, yeah, I'll pay that. No problem. Knowing that you're not going to have the problems all these other cars have. The car manufacturers don't want to sell those cars like that because they want you to come buy new in a few years. They don't want you to fix this stuff. Hell no. You take an older BMW to the BMW dealership, they just look at you like you've lost your damn mind. Oh no, $10,000 to fix that. Knowing that you won't pay that because the car is worth five, right? And that's the whole trick of it. But we can sell you a new one right now. We have new M5s in a lot, M3s in a lot, or whatever you're buying. That's not just BMW, that's every car dealership. But I really do think people talk about pollution, about not recycling. Damn, man. Let's make a car that works for more than a couple years. Because if you got to throw a car, a whole car away every few years, what's that doing to pollution and junk and crap, right? Just make stuff right the first time. Chinese parts the same way, man. You're making Chinese parts and sell them on eBay. He just makes stuff right. Isn't it just easier if you're Chinese and you run a factory in China, you just go just a little bit further and not throw that handful of sand in that plastic or in that steel and just make stuff correct. Everybody have a different mind on China if you did that, but man, they just won't. They just won't. It's an old man rant from hell here. Anyhow, no stop start probably anymore after this year. Glad I could bring it to your attention. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you tomorrow with another video. Have a good day.